but I think um, play your own game and uh, enjoy yourself. I mean, it's the first final for, for Whitlock. She might have uh, a few extra nerves. Mm. But at the same time, she she's not the favourite here, although she has... Uh, three love. She's three love in head-to-head, yeah. head, so it's quite a strange one. She's obviously got the confidence. Which is positive signs for the young English player. Yeah, she does. Both players look relaxed. And out, 1-3. When she gets flowing, you can really see the ball just comes off the racket yeah. in a lovely manner. Well, I think she's got um, she's got a very relaxed swing, hasn't she? And, and quick hands, she's got good reactions. Uh, wonderful skill. Great There's example. a fist pump. First one of the day. 9-3. Mm. See, even there, she's she's trying to take the ball early when it was tight on the side wall. That's something that uh, Mohamed El Shabagi does a lot. He's got so much confidence. Oh. He knows he can volley it off the side wall. 10-3. Mm. Game ball. That is such a wonderful finish. Eleven three, game Poor to shot Evans, from Evans straight down the middle, but One game to love. wonderful control from Evans. Emily Whitlock though didn't play particularly well. It wasn't uh, it wasn't a poor performance, but she just wasn't allowed to express herself. One love. Evans' first game certainly, uh, you know, there really wasn't an inch that she was giving Alison. Whereas here, she's just giving space away to Three Evans, love. and that's deadly to do. It's a player with such fine racket skill. Slightly more patient rally here. Just waiting for it to open oh, up, but it's Evans wow. with the boast. Not a lot you can do about that. I mean, it wasn't. Uh, no, it's, a, it's a good width. I mean, if you're nitpicking, Left. it was maybe Five slightly high it. on the side wall. Yeah, absolutely. And perhaps using um, a bit more height. I mean, she's renowned for her lobbing ability, not just on the serve, but uh, during six. the rallies. And she's not doing much of that, Whitlock. She's not varying it, perhaps, as m apart from that. Wonderful. Evans just taking the time on this first game ball in the second. That's clever from Evans. She got the ball early, to slightly Evans. loose. Evans opened up the, sh the shoulders, luck. making it look like a cross court and then flicking it straight. Beautiful line, Parkey. Great win. Better, better from Whitlock. She was under pressure. And out As two usual, four. really, in this match so far. But uh, velocity of the hitting's just gone up a fraction, Parkey. Maybe Whitlock just noticing the ever increasingly crucial nature of this third game. Ah, oh, yeah, it's great no finish there. Fantastic. She really worked that opportunity well. Four all. It's a good rally for Whitlock. This. a real sign of confidence keeping that ball straight nice shot from Whitlock and oh. again the luck goes Good. the way of the Welsh woman Seven for right. so an apology and a little uh, <laughs> face pull I'm not sure how genuine it was <laughs> <laughs> and that is Nice lob from Whitlock. It's been underused really by her in this match. 
She's done it again. 11 Tony 5, match to Evans. Title. Three games to love. Really fantastic 11 performance 3. from her. 11 fully 6. deserved. Fully 11 deserved. 11 5. Emily Whitlock, disappointing for her. Her first final didn't play badly, but certainly can play better. And she'll go away and, uh, and learn a lot of lessons from this. But it's Tesney Evans who has retained the title. Perhaps the more experienced at this level. Coming through 11 3, 11 6, 11 5 in 32 minutes. Tesney Evans, British champion. And again, ladies and gentlemen, please show your appreciation. She came here to defend a title. It's a title that she treasures. Please welcome from Wales, Tesney Evans. Tesney, hopefully less emotional than before. I'm sure, again, a few words from you to the people that matter to you most. Yeah, um, um, sorry. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking about. Um, yeah, I just, you know, it looks like me at the end of the day who holds this, but I mean, it's really not. I just the person that does what they, t what, what they tell me to do. Um, but yeah, I just, just want to thank everyone. Um, my mum and dad, obviously dad's coached me since a kid, so he's got a massive role to play in this. Um, Dave as well for everything he does uh, for me. Mark Harris as well, back there, does my um, fitness and stuff, which is always the hard part. So uh, massive thanks to him for putting up for me and m making me do it. Um, and yeah, everyone from Squash Wales, they give me so much support and Sport Wales as well. Um, that just goes a long way. Um, and definitely want to thank Caracol as well. Um, massive support of me since I was about 16, 17. And, they always, they always, even when I wasn't doing great or whatever, they would, they always stuck by me. And um, to Keith and Mark from Caracol, I just want to say a massive thank you because they really have helped me a lot. Um, and to Richard at, at Bangor, Bangor University, a big sponsor of mine. And um, yeah, everyone in Wales really, because this is not just for me, but it's also for them too. <laughs> 